With a slide and splash, the research vessel, Sekuliak, took to the water on a wet and windy day. But for the scientists itching to explore the Arctic seas off the coast of Alaska, it was all sunny smiles. <laughs> Just an amazing day. It has been so long in the making, and to actually see it go in the water was just phenomenal. Working with the National Science Foundation, Dean Michael Castellini and other scientists from the University of Alaska Fairbanks are overseeing the Sekuliak's construction at the Marinette Marine Shipyard in Wisconsin. The 261-foot-long ship is designed to move through ice and will be outfitted with the latest navigation and mapping technology laboratories, sensor systems, and over-the-side handling cranes. 14 years in the planning and construction stages, it is the brainchild of the oceanographer Terry Whitledge. Uh, the mission of this vessel is uh, basically to support uh, state-of-the-art science in uh, polar regions, especially ice-covered seas. Sekuliak is an Inupiaq word, meaning young sea ice. The Sekuliak is perfectly the perfect vessel for working in the pack ice ice that breaks up and moves around, and for working in ice that's a couple feet thick. The nearly $200 million ship is funded largely by the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. It was the first project out the door, as I understand it, for the uh, stimulus funds. And since the package was ready and there was a single contract for the construction, it was like perfect for stimulus type funding. Marinette Marine's Chuck Goddard says the project is employing area welders, pipe fitters, electricians, and others in the shipbuilding trade. It'll take us about two and a half years from the time we started the fabrication to actually get the ship to deliver it. In that time frame, uh, typically there'd be between 100 and 200 people on board. We employ 1,400 people here at the shipyard, so it's, it's a sizable part of our workforce. Now that the ship is in the water, the build-out continues. The science can't start soon enough for Whitledge. We are actually trying to still understand the basic makeup of the Alaskan ecosystem. There's also an element of uh, concern about the number of fisheries resources that we have and our harvest, uh, global climate change, and what it's doing to the biological resources uh, such as fisheries. A voyage of discovery to do science on ice, an idea worth building on. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.